Hi everybody. We're going live to you here from Arizona this morning. Welcome for those of you guys watching. Um, good to see you guys here. I'm sure they start showing up. People have actually set their alarms. You're here. Hi Kathy. Um, I think I'm a little crooked there, but there, maybe. <laughs> yep, you can get down. That side needs to just go up. Anyway, I'm going to start. Um, huh, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, what I do. So if you're new to my page or to me, I'm Elena Love and I do um, raw food classes is my big thing that I do. Plant-based classes. I have tons of online classes. So that's kind of our thing we're focusing on this year. So if you're interested in anything I'm doing here, just let you know that you can find out a lot more on my courses, um, on my courses on purejoyplanet.com. So I'm just going to start by talking about some of my favorite superfoods and uh, just show you guys what I like to make for like a nice winter beverage. There's just so many things you can do and I think having liquids is super important. I mean, we know the importance of water and most people honestly don't drink enough water. I film, I'll just show you guys what I do every day. I fill a quart sized jar up with like this with water and um, it has a little symbol on it which is kind of fun but you can write love on there, you can write happiness, you can write success, you can write I love you on your jar and that's going to give it even more energy. But so fill your water up with a quart size of water every day. I mean fill your quart sized jar up with water every morning and you should be drinking two of these a day. And I just put some B vitamins and some MSM, which I'll talk about with you guys in another Facebook Live, because today, we're not focusing on supplements today, but I'm super into some supplements, but today I'm gonna talk about all my favorite superfoods. So, let's get started. Um, I have quite a few superfoods here in front of me, and what I do, and you guys who've been doing raw foods for a while, or have been doing, I don't even wanna say raw foods anymore, because I feel like the raw food movement is still alive and well, but most of us, including me, have shifted more into like, just a healthy whole food diet and whether that's plant 100% plant based or not but a high plant based diet and that's really what I promote is high plant based as many vegetables as you can in your diet some fruits but try not to go overboard with the fruits and throwing tons of bananas in your food um, keep it low glycemic keep it healthy but keep getting hydrated and especially in the winter you'll notice like especially if you're somewhere where there's a lot of heat being run all the time and you're not going outside you're going to get dehydrated, your nostrils are going to dry up, you're going to get that dry throat. So how can we get more liquids in our diet? Well, we can drink the water like I mentioned, but there's other ways to really make sure that you're assimilating the liquids and the nutrition into your bloodstream and into your body so that you feel hydrated throughout. Have you ever drank um, filtered water and you kind of just feel like you're still thirsty? Why that happens, especially if you're just drinking it out of, straight out of a filter, like from if you have a reverse osmosis or distilled water, is because there's no life force in that water. It's completely dead. So when you're drinking just plain filtered water, and if you're buying bottled water from places like Costco, please stop. Please stop buying plastic bottled water, I beg you. Um, we get ours delivered in big uh, bottles, like five gallon bottles, and then we immediately pour it into glass and put and we ozonate it and make it super kind of charged. Um, so charge your water. There's lots of different ways you can charge your water. Maybe I'll give a whole uh, little class here on charging water at another point. But just to say like throw a pinch of salt in or throw a cucumber in or some lemon in your water. Do something to bring your water back to life and try and get your own water filter so that it's not sitting in plastic. Because as we know, plastic is destroying people's thyroids. Why is there so many thyroid problems these days? I mean, so many people I talk to are hormone imbalance and there's thyroid. And I think one, one big culprit, I mean, there's a lot with all the EMFs and everything, but one big culprit is just too much plastic in our lives. So even when you're picking supplements, pick things in glass jars. Glass, glass, glass is our biggest friend. Drink your things out of either metal or glass. Um, and if you're doing metal, make sure it's like a metal, like a stainless steel that doesn't, the metals don't leach into your water. So just do your research. I'm going to start today with my vitamin O green, which is one of my top favorite superfoods. I've been doing this for, well, so I've been doing raw foods for 20 years now and plant-based living and just a high vibe lifestyle, which is kind of more what I like to call it now instead of a raw food diet. I live a high vibe diet, a high vibe lifestyle. 
Vitamin O Green is one of my very best friends. I travel with her. I take her everywhere that I go if I'm leaving the house for extended periods of time because I know I'm going to get all the nutrition I need from this baby. Um, this company, Health Force Nutritionals, is one of my absolute favorite companies because, again, they, they sell their stuff in glass. Their prices are reasonable. They actually even talk about the fact that they, um, they're really super into the veganic gardening, but that they uh, try and keep their prices low so that the end consumer doesn't have to pay too much. Now, a bottle like this is probably 60 bucks, but this is two or three months worth of supplements. And this, if, you're, if, if it's you or someone you know that you're just trying to get healthier, like maybe your husband or your boyfriend or your dad, you're just like, I just want them to get healthier, but they won't do it. Start by just doing something like this with them, having them start out with a teaspoon a day of a green powder. And you know, there's so many green powders on the market, and I'm sure there's a lot of really good ones out there, but I vetted this one. I have been taking it myself for 20 years. It makes my nails stronger, it makes them grow faster, it makes my skin just more radiant. And the reason for that is because it's got so much nutrition in it. It's got all the grasses, like um, you know, wheat grass, oat grass, barley grass, it's got spirulina, it's got um, probiotics, it's got enzymes, it's got seaweeds like dulse and kelp and a lot of the other seaweeds. It's got medicinal mushrooms in it, which we know are super healthy for us. So no matter how you look at it, if you're not sure if you're getting enough nutrition in your diet, do this with some water. Like, and you know, so what you could do is pour this into a smoothie and then try and drink down the smoothie if you don't like the taste of this. Or what I would recommend is just getting like a shot glass or a small like eight ounce jar out of water, mixing it in, like it start with a teaspoon and work your way up to a tablespoon a day, and then just chug it down in the morning. Have it be the first thing you do in the morning and then that way, you're gonna feel all the energy from it. You're gonna feel like working out and you're, it's just gonna keep you going. So this is called Vitamin Mineral Green and the company is called Health Force Nutritional. You can get it on Thrive Market and we'll send you guys, after this is done, I'll put a link up here for you guys to go and get. I think that you guys get a special deal if you use our link on thrivemarket.com. Their prices are really good. They're, they're trying to keep their prices lower than a lot of the other places out there and they sell all the health and superfoods. So they're a super good company. Next in the line of my superfoods is um, spirulina, and it's the same company, but you can get whatever kind of spirulina is your favorite. Um, if you're not buying this company, which is again, Health Force Nutritional, this is the Mana spirulina, you can get Hawaiian spirulina. I have had them made the mistake of buying a cheap brand in the past, and it tastes like sand or dirt, or like, it's just not good quality. Maybe they're putting fillers in. So make sure that you know what you're getting, and usually, a lot of times price has to do with that. If something's too cheap, too good to be true, it probably is just a lower quality product, unless it's just a big sale that they're having. Um, spirulina has so many amazing benefits. I use it to um, kind of to up my iron content because um, I don't eat meat, so sometimes my iron content gets low, or the last time I got blood tested, she said there's a sign that I have a little bit of anemia. And as soon as I started taking spirulina again every day, my energy levels went back up. I was feeling really good, really balanced, because there's a lot of iron in spirulina, and it's a really balancing. You cannot go wrong with spirulina. If you're looking for more protein in your diet, if you're working out a lot, it's just one of those super awesome foods to add in. I like to add it into smoothies, but I also like to put it in my desserts. Like I do this really yummy, it's called fairy fudge, and it's just coconut uh, butter with spirulina, and then you can sweeten it with honey or sweeten it with stevia or whatever you want, you make like little fudge balls with it. And it's a great pre-workout little snack because coconut oil is actually another superfood. And that is the only fat that you can utilize as energy. So if you're going to the gym, you don't want to have something really fatty and heavy because you're going to be sluggish. But if you take coconut oil and mix it with spirulina and maybe a little sweetener, that's going to be a super great pre-workout or post-workout snack. So any way you can get spirulina in your body is good. And that's another one that I travel with. I'm just gonna see if there's anything else I wanna say about spirulina. How much do you have? Um, it's a complete protein source. So it contains all the eight um, essential amino acids in the proper ratios. And it has 375% more protein than tofu. And if anybody out there watching, because I don't know who's watching today, um, uh, I'll get to your question in a second, Jessica. Uh, if if you're worried about protein, spirulina is just like a really great source of it. And 
A lot of people ask, like, how do you get your protein when you're eating a plant-based diet? The question is, how much protein are you actually assimilating? It should be the better question to ask, not how do you get your protein. If you're eating cooked chicken and cooked meat, are you actually absorbing much of that protein, or is it just going into your bloodstream as an undigested protein, which causes cancers and all kinds of problems down the line? If you're eating something like spirulina, which is a plant-based protein, or hemp seeds, which I'm going to get to in a minute, um, you're going to get way more absorbable protein into your diet. So that's, that's really what you want to think about. So how much protein? I mean, how much spirulina? I would start out with a teaspoon because a lot of these foods I'm talking about today are the definition of a superfood is something that's power packed. A little bit goes a really long way. It's like concentrated. So what I would say with spirulina is start out with a teaspoon, work your way up to a tablespoon. And then as you kind of, the longer you do this diet, the longer you are consuming superfoods, your intuition will start to talk to you. Here's how I like to look at it. If you're afraid to try something like, I don't want to bother with that spirulina, it doesn't taste right. How does your brain know to crave it? So a lot of people tell me that are, you know, go vegetarian. They're like, oh, I just crave meat because I know my body needs protein. Well, if your body doesn't know that spirulina exists, then it can't crave that as its source of protein. Does that make sense? Your body, you will only crave what your body knows is out there, what your brain knows is out there. So you need to start trying things so that you can tell your mind, you know, your brain can kind of register, oh, when I take spirulina, I feel this, and then you'll actually start to crave it. An example for that of that for me is dulse. Because I eat dulse often, now I crave it when I need the minerals in dulse, which is quite often, I'll just be sitting there eating my lunch and suddenly I'm like, I need to get up and put dulse on this. It just comes to me. So that's what's gonna start happening to you with things like spirulina and vitamin mineral green and some of the other ones I'm gonna talk about. You'll just be doing your thing and suddenly you're making a smoothie and your brain just goes hip, hip, hip. So you start putting things in, but you need to start practicing by trying all these different things. And I would just do it as a rotation diet. Start out with just one of these superfoods or two and then try that for a week or a month in small doses and then um, try something else, like move on to another superfood. So that way your body can kind of figure out what is this particular food and what is it doing it for me? Because if you start out with 10 things, you're like, I feel amazing, but you don't really know which one of those foods is making you feel amazing. And then you're like, this is getting expensive. So what you can do instead of just buying everything all at once is just start out with one thing. Okay, so that's my recommendation. And I would say you don't need to do vitamin O green and spirulina. You can just pick one or the other and rotate back and forth between the two. The next superfood I want to talk about is maca. You guys have probably heard of maca. It is a root that comes from South America, like places like Peru. And it's kind of like in the radish family and it tastes a lot like malted milk and it comes in like a creamy white brownish powder. And what we use it for is like our chocolate maca milkshakes. I like to put it in my chocolates. I like to add it to my smoothies in the morning. If you drink coffee, you could even add it in your coffee. What does maca do? It's, um, it's definitely a superfood and it's definitely concentrated. You only need like a half a teaspoon as a dose. You don't want to overdose on maca because what can happen, I'm just looking for it here, is um, if you overdose on maca, your hormones can actually get out of balance where the whole point of taking maca is to get your hormones in balance. So I don't see it here, so I'm just gonna talk about what I know about maca. Um, so maca is a hormone balancer. It increases your sex drive, so they call it the natural Viagra, women and men, and it definitely works. I know so many people, including myself, who start taking it, and I was taking it in too large a doses, but it definitely turns on all that sexual energy in your body. Um, so that's good if you're married or if you're just, you want to kind of increase your sex drive for whatever reason, it's a good way to do it. Um, it's also a great hormone balancer for women. What I like to do with some women, like they're working with me and they get menstrual cramps, is to give them a teaspoon of maca in hot water, just like a cup of hot water. And the cramps usually go away within 15 minutes after they've taken it. So for ladies out there that like don't know what to do about menstrual cramps, just take a teaspoon in hot water and it should like dissipate it really quickly. Um, and I like the taste of it, so that's usually why I do it. Like I just like that malty taste of maca. So that's another great superfood. There's other green powders out there too you can take, like if you guys have heard of um, Moringa. Moringa's getting much more of a following now. I would say out of just, if you're gonna pick one green, you know, you can pick just, just broccoli sprout powder, which is also amazing, or just wheatgrass powder, or just barley grass powder. That's all great. 
and spir uh, uh, moringa powder it's kind of the newbie on the market but more and more people are getting into it because it has so many amazing benefits and the nutrition profile is off the charts it's going to be super alkalizing for your body so if winter time you know that's a time a lot of people get sick so this is a good time to increase your alkalinity because when your body's alkaline you can't be sick why do people get sick usually because the weather changes but also you start eating all these heavier cooked foods starchy foods foods that are more acidic um, maybe more grains and that's going to be the fastest way to get sick so if you start to feel sick stop eating grains and start doing your greens and i'm going to show you guys today how to make a super yummy kind of creamy elixir milky thing so that you can kind of get liquefied and get nutrified and also feel full and that's super important to feel full um, i don't believe in starving yourself you know i've done a lot of fasting and i love fasting but it has its time and place in the winter is really not going to be your ideal time to get super like leaned out and drinking tons of just only juices because it's going to cool you down too much and that could actually cause an imbalance in your hormones as well so you want to you want to feed yourself you want to nutrify yourself with all these healthy healthy ingredients it's not about starving yourself and if you do want to do a liquid diet because you're sick that's great but keep the beverages rolling in with warm stuff and just more filling stuff and stuff that feels like it's going to nourish your body versus feeling like you're starving um, lots of hot teas and things like that so speaking of hot beverages and how you can kind of like what superfoods can I put in a hot beverage because you don't really want to put spirulina in hot water that's kind of gross um, but what you could do is you could use a powder and you guys have heard me talk about this before probably but we love our chaga around here chaga and reishi are the two top medicinal mushroom powders that are really making um, a big appearance these days this one I'm holding right now is called primal herb I got it on um, online but what we really like too is the powder these are called four sigmatic and we actually carry these on pure joy planet um, we like them because you can get things like chaga lion's mane and just one packet in hot water in the blender or even just stir it you can travel with these and instead of just having some lame tea that doesn't really have much nutrition in it like some orange zinger or something or even you know a peppermint tea yeah you're gonna get a little bit of nutrition from that but you don't know really how old those peppermint leaves are and a lot of these tea bags that you buy the 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 actual ingredients that are in there are usually the old stuff and it's not as vibrant so just doing a packet of chaga you know you're going to boost your immunity right away you're going to get your body nutrified you're going to get nutrients in your cells and that's really what we're looking at and what i'm talking about today is like how do we nourish ourselves with little like not on a high budget either like this these don't cost very much and one of these a day is going to keep you rolling and keep you from getting sick and keep your immunity up as long as you're avoiding i don't want to say this is going to keep you from getting sick but it will definitely help but you need to avoid the acidic foods like grains and dairy and meats the things that cause acidity in your body and up your you know your nutrition content through you know steamed broccoli with some yummy coconut curry sauces and things like that which you can find on the website on purejoyplanet.com just click on the recipes and we have a lot of free recipes on there um, yeah so some kind of medicinal mushroom beverage you can make your own too a lot of times we like to brew our own chaga mushroom on the stove but let me be honest with you most of you guys who are watching probably it's easier just to use a packet and just put it in hot water because you're busy you're running off to work out or go to work or you know do something with the kids or whatever you don't always have time to sit around watching the, the pot boil <laughs> so um, I recommend just making it easy for yourself so this company is called four sigmatic they have chaga they have reishi they have turkey tail they have lion's mane and we even have a, a pack um, a coffee one that has medicinal mushrooms and coffee and it's super high in coffee so if you're a coffee drinker and you're traveling that could be a great way to kind of just get the nutrition in your coffee as well because when you drink a really good quality coffee it actually opens your cells and gets the nutrition in so whatever you're mixing with your coffee is going to go in even better into your cells and you know I'm a coffee drinker I'm not saying drink coffee or don't drink coffee that's totally your choice but I like my morning coffee and I just make sure I do a really good quality coffee and a lot of times I'll do this four sigmatic coffee in the morning um, okay so what is else is in front of me here I got a lot of superfoods sitting here in front of me um, I want to talk a little bit about turmeric because turmeric as we know is say it with me anti-inflammatory right that's the biggest thing we know about turmeric what about the color of turmeric yellow isn't there I mean so eating the rainbow right we want to eat all different colors of food so make sure you're getting your colors in not just green which is great but the turmeric 
The turmeric is tied to your solar plexus chakra because it's a yellow color. That's where your power and will comes from, your strength to get things done, to make up your mind, to eat healthier, to be healthier, to move your body, to meditate more, whatever it is, you're gonna get that from the color yellow. So turmeric also, as well as being anti-inflammatory, is just an energy color, and it's a really good one to put in. I'm just gonna tell you guys a few things about turmeric because it's so amazing. So it usually comes as a root, but right now, in our area at least, the root is about $24 a pound, which I still would get in small amounts. But the powder is just easier because I've got it on hand. I can order it in bulk, organic, in the one pound bags, and you can get this on places like Amazon, things like that. Um, just order your whole one pound bag. The great thing about that versus buying it in a store in bulk is you know nobody else has opened it or done anything with it. Um, you've got it in a bag that you can open and just kind of keep refilling your jar. You should be going through a lot of turmeric, so a pound, if that sounds like a lot, you're not using it enough. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys today how to use it, so I'll get to that in a minute. But turmeric is eight times more potent than vitamin E. And we know vitamin E is an immune booster. Um, it supports your antioxidant protection against free radicals. And in the winter is another time because you're indoors a lot. There's a lot more electromagnetic energy going on in the house. Um, if you haven't done this this week, even if you live in the most freezing place on earth, please go outside and get some earthing on your feet. And I mean, even if it's freezing cold, just go stick your feet in the snow and get that earth on your feet. Get outside, get grounded, get under the sun, breathe, breathe, breathe. If there's no sun, just lay on the earth, even if you're bundled up, just get that earth energy into your body because the electromagnetic energies need a way to discharge themselves and getting outside, getting in nature is the best way to do that. If you're in a warmer climate like we are here in Arizona, go sit on a rock and meditate or just be outside and read a book. Even if you're cold, just bundle up, but get your feet on the ground and you're not gonna die. Um, Wim Hof teaches all about this breathing technique, which I do every morning now, and then I jump in a nice cold bathtub. Um, you get your kind of internal heat going, and then you can withstand the cold better. So if you're not aware of Wim Hof, look him up, and I'll probably do another video on that. See, we have so much content. I'm going to try and come to you guys once or twice a week on these Facebook Lives just to kind of keep educating you and letting you guys know what I'm up to and, and also promoting my online courses. So if you didn't hear, I'm promoting my online courses today. We have some really great new courses that are up. We have a whole cultured course. We have actually a free juicing course that's up right now on the site. Um, and the site is purejoyplanet.com. And um, you can check out our free juicing course just to see what everything's about, but you can try out like our noodles class. You can try the whole online. If you really wanna know more about what I'm talking about, because there's a lot of information here today, and a lot of people liken it to like drinking through a fire hose, like, yeah, it's all coming at me. So how do you get more in, inundated and ingrained? You take our online level one course or even the whole level one with the advanced course. And when you take that whole thing, I swear to you that by the time you finish these courses and you've done every recipe at home on your own, um, you will know this stuff backwards and forwards. And then you can actually get certified through me as well. So if you wanna be a certified raw food chef, now you can do it all online and then come to one of our reunions in Costa Rica or some place beautiful and tropical that we're gonna be setting up for 2018. This year we're not gonna be doing a lot of in-person stuff, or this year we're working on online. Next year we're gonna do some reunions for those of you guys who have graduated and taken the courses and we'll meet in places like Costa Rica and these, actually Arizona, you guys would not believe how beautiful it is here. It's absolutely fabulous. I can't believe people don't live here, but it's a secret, so don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay, more about turmeric before I get on to making it. Age your skeletal system and joint health encourages healthy liver function. And we all need liver health. Um, I'm really into liver cleansing. If you don't know that about me already, I actually teach a liver course, which is also on my um, online program. But um, anything you can do to support your liver, I encourage it, especially in the winter, because the liver is your little friend that's filtering everything out that you breathe, everything you touch. If you touch yucky stuff, the filter goes through the liver. Um, if you eat something fried, your liver has to deal with it. So please take care of your liver, and turmeric is a great way to do that. Um, promotes a healthy female reproductive system, helps you maintain blood sugar levels within normal range, isn't that awesome? And um, insists your, assists your neurological system healthy responses to stress. So it's really good for anti-stress. I can't say enough good stuff about turmeric. If, if after watching this, you don't know what else to do, take some turmeric, like that's easy. And turmeric is a little bitter, but I'll tell you that after you take it every day or do it a lot, um, you will, it will not be bitter anymore. And people ask me, oh, what about taking pills? 
Capsules are okay if you can't stand the taste of things, but I want to tell you that the more you taste your nutrition, the quicker your brain is going to recognize it as food and help you uptake it. Because if you're swallowing a pill and it doesn't open up until it gets into the lower stomach or the, the intestinal tract, there's much less of a chance of your brain actually recognizing it as nutrition and being able to assimilate it. So we want to taste our foods. We want to get that bitterness on our tongue. Bitterness helps heal the liver as well. So if you hate the taste of kale, the only um, remedy for that is eating more kale. If you hate the taste of MSM, which is one of my favorite supplements, which I'm going to talk about uh, later this week or next week, the only solution for not hating it is take, keep taking it. It's like building a muscle. You have to get your body used to the taste of these things. Vitamin or green, I used to hate the taste of this stuff because I was like, oh my God, it's awful. Now I'll put it in a smoothie and I love it. So um, I'm, I'm proof because I'm really picky. I have one of those palettes that tastes everything and I'm like, ooh. Um, but now I love the taste of vitamin or green because my body knows that I need it. My cells are like, yay, you're feeding me. I love you. Thank you. So that's kind of how you want to look at your food is like, are you loving your body through what you're feeding yourself? Are you loving your cells up? So I'm going to get into, um, we're going to kind of keep this live one short today. So I'm probably only going to be on for another 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to get right into making this beverage. Um, there's many more superfoods I can talk about, but those are kind of some of the top ones today. Um, I'm going to now make a base for my, um, my drink. So this is a great winter beverage. In the summer, you know, you're going to probably keep it lighter and I'll tell, when it's summertime, I'll kind of tell you guys what to do. And if you're in Australia, I'm sorry because <laughs> it's winter here. I know it's summer there. Um, let's start with some macadamia nuts. So these are my favorite macadamia nuts. We actually carry now macadamia nuts because we have a source for the best macadamia nuts on earth. I tell you, if you're buying macadamia nuts from a store, they're probably most of the time rancid. And the way you can find that out is by smelling them. They should smell sweet and smell like a sweet, yummy macadamia nut. And um, they should be whole, not like all broken into pieces. Whenever you're buying nuts or seeds and they're broken into pieces, I guarantee you, you're getting mold, fungus, bacteria in your food. And you do not want that. Like you want to feed yourself the very best. So go on purejoyplanet.com and just search for macadamia nuts. And we've got them on there and they come straight from Hawaii and they're super high quality. Oh, hi, Kathy. And hi, oh, Kathy Ayanacone, hi. And Paul Nissan, hi. Great to see you guys here. Kat, Caitlin's telling me who's saying hi because my phone's too far away for me to see the, who's saying what. All right, so I'm just gonna drain these macadamia nuts. With macadamia nuts, you don't need to soak them very long. In fact, 20 minutes is fine. I don't really use cashews if you're wondering because there's a lot of mycotoxins in cashews and I just haven't found a cashew that I love. I know the really raw ones that are in their whole form. Some people love them, but most people I talk to and know that I start asking them questions about cashews, they usually tell me, yeah, I do get a clogged nose after I eat too many cashews. Or yeah, you know, I do notice I have more mucus in my throat from cashews. So to me, cashews is like eating dairy. And I'm sorry to burst your bubble if you're a cashew lover. But even if you are a cashew lover and you don't want to give them up, please rotate the nuts and seeds you're using. Don't just stick with the same one every day. So I'm showing you a cashew, uh, a macadamia milk, but you can also do a almond milk, a walnut milk, a hazelnut milk, a Brazil nut milk. That's great because you're going to get your selenium. So I just soak these in purified water just to kind of plump them up a little bit. You need about a cup of nuts to about four cups of water. And I know most of you guys out there already know how to make your own nut milk, but I'm going to do it again. If you want a coffee creamer or a creamer or just to make it really rich for winter time, just use only two cups of water. Use less water. So the less water you use, the more rich and fatty and creamy it's going to be. And these are good fats. Actually, a good point to know about macadamia nuts is them and walnuts are higher in omega-3s than all the other nuts. So they're not higher. There's still more 6s than 3s in these nuts, but they're not. Um, the ratio is way better than, say, almonds or um, hazelnuts. So I, that's why I go for the macadamias. I make my cheeses out of this as well. Um, so I'm going to turn it on. Just if you if you turn it down and you can still hear the rattling, you can go again. All right, that's good. I don't hear the rattling. So 
if you if you still have the, the rattling in there, what that means is you haven't blended the nuts all the way, so you're going to be wasting a lot of those nuts. And you always want to save your pulp for like a bread or a cinnamon roll or some, uh, even if you're baking, you can put these in your ba the pulp in your baked, um, your baked goods. So why do I strain it? Because I don't like the fiber in my drinks. I want to get the fiber out and I want it to be more like a, a liquid, a true liquid. So just getting that nut fiber out of there. What I love about making it fresh versus, um, you know, making a bunch ahead of time is it's much more frothy and foamy when it's fresh. But you can definitely make up to four days worth of milk. So if you have a family, make a bunch of these and then they're going to grab it. If things are ready to go, people are way more likely to use them. Even me, if I don't have nut milk made, a lot of times I won't, you know, I won't use it. And I know there's a lot of really good healthy fats in these, especially when the weather's cold and you just want something satisfying and tea's just not cutting it. This is also a great one to have in the evening with your tea because you're still getting a lot of nutrition in. And there's a lot of fiber left over. And what I might use these for is like a white cookie. Like if I want to make like a lemon shortbread cookie, I could use this pulp because it's just this yummy white flour. So that'll be awesome to use for something like that. So what I want to do now is I want to take this milk and put it back in the blender and then make an elixir with it. So I'm just going to tell you guys the, the ratios here if you want to write it down. So get your pen out. Uh, so it's about, it looks like I've got about... I do have four cups of, of milk and so this is going to be a big batch so maybe what I'll do um, actually I'm not going to do four cups I'm going to do one cup because I want to make this for you guys like for someone that's just at home and wants just to make it for themselves so let's just go down to one cup one cup milk and can you hand me the hot water in there is it hot it's hot enough Okay, that's all right. So we're, Caitlin's going to get me a little bit of hot water and I'll add the other ingredients in. So you want like a cup of milk and a cup of hot water. So heat your water up before you start making your nut milk. Um, if there's a question about can I use hot water to make nut milk, I would say no. One, because you can't squeeze it. And two, because you're going to kind of kill the vitamin E and the good healthy nutrition in the, in the fats. So I wouldn't make a hot milk, but you can add the milk into a hot beverage. And it's going to kind of balance it out. It won't be like cooked because the temperature will get down to about 120, which is fine for, for milks. Then I want to add in some turmeric powder. So for this batch, I'm going to show you guys two or like two different recipes this morning. One's a yellow one, because I talked about how amazing yellow foods are and how good they are for our, um, our chakras and just the energy of yellow. And then I'm going to do a blue uh, drink after this, so stay tuned for that one. So how much do I want to put in? Really, for me, I would say today I'm going to put a tablespoon in. So that's like three teaspoons. For you, if you're not super confident and comfortable with turmeric, start with a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon and work your way up. I now love the taste of turmeric. In fact, I'll just sprinkle it on my salad. It's a great way. That's another way to get these foods into your, like spirulina and, and turmeric into your diet is to sprinkle them over your salad. So I got about a tablespoon. It's between a teaspoon and a tablespoon of turmeric in there. And then we need some kind of sweetener. Now you can use coconut sugar if you want. Um, you can use honey if you want. And that's really just sweeten the taste. I would do like maybe a teaspoon to a tablespoon. But I'm a low glycemic gal and I like things like stevia. So I'm gonna do stevia. And this particular stevia is called sweet stevia. And we sell this on Pure Joy Planet. It's a super awesome one because it doesn't have a bitter aftertaste. And this bottle will last you for probably a year. You just need a very small amount. And it just comes with this, it comes in glass, which is another good sign. We love stuff in glass, like I mentioned at the beginning. And um, you just want to tap it. So I would say just do it to taste, maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon of stevia. It's totally your choice. I'm really trying to cut back even on my stevia because I want my palate just to enjoy foods the way they are and not have to always sweeten things. But if you're new to this or you're serving someone who's used to things tasting sweet, stevia is a great trick because it doesn't spike the blood sugar levels. It's great for diabetics or people with cancer. If, if you know someone with cancer, I don't know if you know this, but you need to get them off all things sweet, all fruits, anything that's feeding the cancer cells. So stevia is a great substitute for that. And then turmeric, something like that, it's going to like drive it into their cells, which is exactly what you want. Um, so Caitlin just heated me up some water. Thank you. And I'm going to put about a cup of water in. So we're going to have about two cups of liquid here. And that's really kind of like that's your base. It's just turmeric, milk, and stevia. I could throw in something else just for fun. Like I could throw in a little like 
half a teaspoon or a packet of this uh, this chaga elixir. This is totally, I'm doing it, you don't have to if you don't have it. Or you could put in like a cup of your favorite hot tea. Um, but I'll just put that in just because it's here and it's going to be super delicious. And then I want to put in some lecithin granules. So some people are like, oh, this is a really good question for me to answer right now because a lot of people ask me about soy and I am not a soy fan of soy. I don't use tofu, I don't use any soy products except for soy lecithin. And the reason for that is because soy lecithin is a different product than actual soy. And this particular company called Quantum Nutrition Labs has one of the top quality uh, lecithins I've ever found. That and my other favorite company, Health Force Nutritionals, has an awesome lecithin. We carry both of those lecithins and we use them in our cheesecakes. We use, I use them a lot of times in a quick drink like this because what it does is it creams stuff up. But it doesn't have the allergic reaction that people get to soy. I know myself included who are allergic to soy, people that are allergic to soy that do not react to soy lecithin. What's good about it is it's actually brain power. If you need more brain power in your life, try soy lecithins. We have myelin sheaths that go throughout our entire body that coat all the, uh, you know, that coat all of our, our dendrites and everything in our brain to help the neurons fire quicker. I hope I'm saying all this scientific stuff correctly. But um, what that does when it coats the myelin sheaths, when it helps support the myelin sheaths, is it strengthens it and it helps your whole neurology. Like if you ever get that, oh, my nervous system feels odd and off, maybe you just need a little lecithin because that comes from eggs. And if you're on a vegan diet, you're not getting a lot of lecithin in your diet. So this is going to be a great substitute for people that aren't eating eggs. Get some lecithin. But just make sure it's non-GMO and it's super good quality. And this company has that. And you can get this on Pure Joy Planet as well. Um, so I put a, like a half a teaspoon in there because that's going to mix it up. And then the other thing you might want to put in is just a, like a little pinch of Celtic salt or um, Himalayan salt. I just love things with a little salt in them. And the, the good salts actually have 82 minerals in them. So either Celtic or Himalayan or real salt are all really good salts you can use. Just a pinch is going to kind of, it's not just for the taste. It's also just to kind of get it to yourself to hydrate more, especially when you're feeling dehydrated. Okay. for very long just kind of get it whipped up and then we'll pour it into a cup can you just hand me a little teacup thanks um, I'm gonna try this out and tell you guys what I think of it yay uh, let's see so I'll show you guys close up so you can see what I'm doing here pour that and then you can sit down and work on your computer or read a book or sit by the fire oh wow it's so good <laughs> I hope when you guys get off this call that you make it. So I want to finish up soon. I know I said only 30 minutes. I'm going to go a little longer. So stick with me. Mm, it's super good. Make that. Um, the next thing I want to do is um, how do I store my leftovers in glass jars? That's the best way to do it. Get a mason jar. Oh, I, I even get a new blender. Thanks, Caitlin. So turmeric will stain your blender. And if there's any questions on how to not stain your blender. I don't have a solution other than if you just keep using the blender, eventually it will not be yellow anymore. And it's just kind of part of using doing turmeric. So if you have a second blender, you can just use one only for turmeric. Um, Manuela says, Man Manuel says, can stevia be toxic to the liver? Maybe it's produced process. Maybe it's the processed something. Oh, it's maybe if it's processed. Okay, yeah, so there's different types of stevia. There's green leaf stevia, which is in its whole form, and it's just a regular herb that grows on a plant, and it tastes super sweet. Um, yes, some stevias can be toxic, especially if they've got things like glycerin and um, alcohol extraction, and it's just all in the way they're processed. Our stevia that we carry is actually fermented, so it's not actually like processed. Even though it's white, they ferment it down, so it's one of the healthiest stevias I've found. Um, Sweet Leaf, I think, also is another good company that you can buy, and they sell that in the store. I don't, I haven't read, and I've read a lot about stevia. I haven't read anything about it being toxic to the liver, so that might be new information. But as far as I know, in small doses, you don't want to go crazy with stevia. You know, just like anything, keep it in small doses. It should be fine. It's actually shown to help balance blood sugar. So the next recipe I'm going to do, and this will be my last one today, is a blueberry um, elixir. So one cup of milk, and this is going to be a little smaller. 
because I'm not going to put water in this. Uh, one cup of blueberries, and these are the wild blueberries. So wild blueberries are super healing for the body. You can get, if you're in the U.S., you can get these at Trader Joe's frozen right now. Um, and then to make it even bluer, I have something called Blue Magic. Have you guys heard of this stuff? We were selling it on the website, but I think we sold out because it's so awesome. But you can get it from E3 Live. And it's called Blue Magic with a K. And it's just a blue food coloring. And it's super high in um, the EPA and DHA and the phycocyanin, which is just super awesome brain food. So I'm going to add a pack. It's still there. <laughs> My phone rang. I don't, that's not supposed to happen. Um, okay, so I'm going to put that in. And then I don't even think I need stevia in this one because it's got the blueberries to sweeten it. Uh, what else could I put in? I could put in lecithin, but I don't really need to. I could put in a pinch of salt. Oh, and blueberry essence. Okay, so I haven't talked to you guys about that, but anybody that's followed me for a while knows I love the medicine flower essences. We have a special right now on the website. Buy four, get one free. Um, we love the vanilla. We love the blueberry. I love all the fruit flavors, like the strawberry, the blueberry, the raspberry. It's not a chemical. It's actually a CO2 extraction. So it's a whole um, fruit, like a blueberry, that's been concentrated down in a CO2 extraction. So it's like a hundred times concentrated. It's a lot more concentrated than an extract. In fact, I love the blueberry so much that I've used it all. So I'm only gonna put about three drops in. And see, that's what I mean. You only need three drops. So a bottle like this could last you like a year. So it might seem expensive at $25 a bottle, but you're gonna get, it's just gonna be great to add. It's like a flavor booster. If you're making a blueberry cheesecake and you want it really to taste like blueberries or a smoothie or a drink like this, just a couple drops. And I just never feel like you can ever get enough vanilla in your life, so I put about three drops in. And um, there's coffee flavor, so people that are giving up coffee and you wanna do a hot elixir with a coffee essence, it doesn't actually have caffeine in it, it's just the CO2 extraction. So you get all the flavor of coffee without the stimulation. So that's a great coffee substitute. So if you haven't tried them, like I even like the banana because I love the flavor of banana, but I don't like all the sugar in bananas. So you can do a banana with a milk with um, a little extract, a little essence in there. Okay, here we go. Mm. All right. It's more purple than blue, but which chakra does purple feed, you guys? You know, the third eye or the crown chakra? Yum. So this one's going to be a little colder, but you could also defrost the blueberries. It's not. Oh my gosh, it's super yummy. So enjoy making your elixirs. Um, Joni asked how much Blue Magic to use. This is just, it comes in a little packet. So I would say if you don't have the packet, if you just have a whole jar of it, just like a quarter of a teaspoon. A little goes a really long way, it's super concentrated. And is the mushroom powder of longevity on your site similar to Four Sigmatic? Yeah, so we have the longevity powder on purejoyplanet.com. And that is actually the same idea as the Four Sigmatic. You would just take, I think we have longevity powder here somewhere. It comes in a bottle like this. And um, you would just take like a teaspoon of that. Here it is. Thanks, Caitlin. A longevity in a bottle and add like a teaspoon of that to a hot elixir. And you're going to get the same kind of benefits. Super long list of amazing medicinal mushrooms in there. It's a great profile. One thing I've noticed from these medicinal mushrooms is it gives me energy and it turns my brain on in the morning. So I love to take these in the morning. Plus it's boosting my immune system. Is there any other questions before I go? Okay, well thank you guys for joining me. Enjoy your elixirs. And if there's anything you guys wanna learn, um, just ask me, but also tune into our site. Oh look at my shirt matches my drink. How cool is that? Um, but tune into purejoyplanet.com. We've got so many reference, you know, resources for you. I've got a blog that's free. I've got recipes that are free. We have our online courses and we even included a free juicing course for you guys. That's how much I love you. Um, and how can you support me? How can you keep me showing up here is by buying some of my courses, buying my books, getting my nut milk bag. I have the nut milk bag I showed you is I'm actually the original producer of the nut milk bag, the amazing nut milk bag. So just support me however you can. I really appreciate it. Even just buying an ebook just to say thank you. And I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.